Hello everyone and welcome to week 13. So we got a bunch of new stuff from a new build from today when I race and do their seasonal update. So we're coming up to season 2 of 2023. Uh, of iRacing and we got all the new contents so we're gonna start off with the late model stock which is a very regional course to the Carolinas and you're like you're looking at this and you're like this looks like a lot like super late model probably but the, 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 there are difference there are critical difference so the late model stock it's based on the ASCO rules. So that's what it's based on. And the super late models is not based on NASCAR rules. And also late model stock is regional to the Carolinas and Virginia. Most mostly in North Carolina. Which is why we're at Southern National. So late model stock came with the support of a core series. That Jim Hart Jr. and Heaven Harvard owns now, along with two others, I believe. So, and now they're pushing the new core into I Racing, which is awesome. So, we got the Wheel World core support um, here in McKinney. And they brought this core over to I Racing. So, this core is the free update. It got the late model, um, the Chevy, the Chevy. From the last 10 years or so. So this is going to replace the, the old late model. And should drive a little bit similar. Maybe a little bit higher from what I'm hearing. But. So like I said. There are difference between the late models. Um, the super late model. Or even the pro late model. Comparing to the late model stock. So this is similar to. Not not quite, but kind of like the pre late model, but there are the difference. Like, um, first of all, the body, the Cassis is different. Um, the late model stock is perfect. It's supposed to be perfectly round on, um, around the core, while the pre late model and the super late model, or what we call the rail Cassis, which means there is an offset inside the core. To, um, and there's a rail that goes straight on the right side. So that's the major difference between the, the pre-late model and the late model stock. So the pre-late model and the super late models are more of a national thing. While the late model stock is regional. So I'm going to post the video from Landon Hoffman. In the comment below, he he's he explained the difference a little bit better than I do. Because he actually owns both the late model stock and the pro late model, and he will show you the difference better than I can. But the point is, as people, as a person from North Carolina, I'm very excited for this core. You know, the late model stock is a big deal around here, and a lot of NASCAR stores have to race this core at some point in their career while they're racing their way up to the, to the National Series. And also, this weekend, the core Sears actually going to this track, the Southern National and Wheel World, um, this weekend, on Saturday, I believe. And it's going to be fun because this is my hometown track. This is like the closest track to be on my racing. This is only about 20 minutes from me in the real world. So I'm probably thinking about going to this race. And I'm pretty excited about it. Alright, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna play, drive this core. I had never, I had never done a lap in this core yet. This is my first time driving this. So I'm pretty excited. Excited to try this. Alright, um. I need to get the overlays up real quick. Sorry about that. Cool. Um, we'll see how easy this is gonna be to shift. I need to shift lights. This is actually not the easy for her to get through to drive. 
mean, it doesn't matter because you shift up to the fourth gear. But this is not going to be easy for to drive with this deaf person because you actually have to um, shift upward on these doors. So I think these doors and this door is going to kill me. But um, thankfully, the series, this door is going to the series that I racing is going to put this car in. It should be caution free, I think, like the like the old late model series was. So that shouldn't be too big of a problem, I think. Let me tell you, um, this car drives amazing. It drives well. It feels good. It probably sounds good to you guys. I've been hearing a lot of people liking the sounds of this car. It drives pretty easy comparing to the old OG, comparing to the old core, except for that little trip. But again, I think this setup is a little bit tight, which is fine because I like I like it a little bit tight. I don't like loose cores very much. I can't drive loose cores very well. But yeah, this car feels great. I think this is gonna be fun. This core is supposed to come with the new Gamma's model, but they canceled it at the last minute. So we're, got, we're on the old Gamma's model for now. But supposedly, supposedly this core is going to come with the new Gamma's model at some point, probably in a future patch. And this is somebody who really struggled it with the late model, the old late model that we had the last couple years. I really, really struggled with that core, and this core feels amazing comparing to that. Feels easy, feels nice and easy, very friendly. Hundred percent there, but I was pushing it a little bit toward the end. It feels amazing. I love it. So yeah, I think this is gonna be um a very popular, a very popular car to drive, and I think a lot a lot of people is gonna love this. So I'm thank you very much, Dome Horse Junior, for bringing this car online. Thank you, Core Sears, for bringing this online, and thank you, iRacing, for working on this. Yeah, I think this is gonna be. I think this is gonna be pretty popular. So yeah. So yeah, this core feels amazing. I think. Sorry. I think this is a great update. I think this is a great update. I think a lot of people are going to love this. So, I'm not 100% done painting this core. I believe the big evil designs are coming out with the new templates to make the nose look better. So, I'm going to be using their templates whenever they come out. But other than that, I think I'm going to stick with this look for um, the new core, the new late model stock. So like I said, it feels amazing, it drives amazing, it's a great update in my opinion. So yeah, um, that's the store of my new content reviews, so stay tuned for more of these um, new content reviews for week 13. I'll be pump, um, pumping these video out over the next couple days, showing the new stuff that we I raised in half. For now, though, um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment. Let me let me know what you all think about the core, and um, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.